Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I just got in my car. It is pouring out. I'm a little bit soaking wet. I have my suitcase and let's fly to Texas. This is actually my first time traveling alone in my life. I'm, you know, via air. But what I'm really most excited about is where I'm headed. So this is one of the conferences that the ASCFG is putting on because of COVID. They can't do the giant conference that they have every year. So what they decided to do the past couple of years, they decided to have smaller conferences at individual flower farms, which is what I did a couple months ago when I went to the Ardelia farm, Farmer Bailey's in Vermont. This one though is at the Arnosky Family Farm in Texas. And it is amazing with a big blue barn and I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to bring you guys with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the phone off because I'm recording this entire vlog is with my brand new phone. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, no special microphone, no special nothing. This is with my phone. So I didn't want to have to uh, pack the gear and the tripod and the huge camera and the microphones and everything like that. So let's see how this goes. Destination is on the left. There's Frank. Boo. <laughs> so we are here at the Arnowski farm. We just parked. Lila's here. I picked her up. She's got an amazing hoodie. I do. It's <laughs> fabulous. It washes well. It washes well. You... It washes well. I am on the lookout for rattlesnakes and scorpions. And we're walking towards the blue barn. Armadillos. And armadillos. Do I look like a tourist? Yes. Hi, Molly B. I love you. Hi, what you doing? I don't have anything for you. I promise I'll come back with snacks later. I promise. The Arnosky Family Farm is located in Blanco, Texas, and they have 20 acres at this location. Now this blue barn is off site from their house. Their house is a couple of miles away and uh, they have been doing this for more than 30 years. They are Pamela and Frank Arnosky and they are hysterical. I love their relationship. They banter back and forth. They are known in the cut flower industry far and wide as just being experts in the field and so freely sharing of their information to members. So you'll see a few minutes ago that Lila is with me. Lila is from North Carolina. She's a flower friend and we're both members of the ASCFG. She found out that I was going to this conference and she decided to come along as well. So it was definitely nice having a familiar face there, but I met so many other flower friends, you guys, the viewers, and it was such a, an amazing experience. Hi flower Hi, friends. <laughs> That was Jean and her husband. They were uh, such a pleasure. So anyway, so we, after the lecture series, we had lunch, which was delicious sandwiches. And then we went on a walking tour of the Arnosky farm and it took, oh my gosh, I would say two and a half hours maybe to walk around the entire farm and, and to take a look at their production and what they were up to. Um, and something that we had to be aware of, listen, I'm a New York girl. We don't have many poisonous things around here, but in Texas, it's a whole different story. Number one rule, if you step in something soft, move your feet because it's probably a fire ant mound. What? Fire ants? Ah, yeah, we definitely don't have those in New York. Another thing we don't have in New York, mm, rattlesnakes. So we were warned 
just to be on the lookout for rattlesnakes because that's something that they do see commonly on the farm. And Frank himself actually has been bit twice by a black widow spider. So uh, also things like that, you know, so no big deal. Just, you know, danger around every corner. <laughs> but that's okay. There was um, no harm, no, no foul, so we were fine. So the Arnoskis are known for their marigolds. They have a lot of marigolds, and that is because the Day of the Dead celebrations are huge in their area, and uh, it's really just a beautiful thing. They explain the importance of the Day of the Dead and uh, why in the culture it's so important and how their flowers are really bringing people together. So it was a beautiful thing to hear about. They definitely keep it entertaining. They explain their methods and how they do things. They produce all of their own plugs and, and they save their own seeds and they just do so much more than your typical farm. And listen to this, guys. They cut 30,000 stems of sunflowers a week. And they even are breeding their own celosia lines. Now, they don't have any plans to sell seeds or anything like that. They just select from their own plants in order to grow the best ones in their area. When you're collecting that seed, you let these seeds get very dry on the plant, but only just so dry that they're starting to... Uh, starting to come out and you can see a few little seeds there coming out so what I do at that point is I cut that off throw it in a bucket take it back to the greenhouse and put it in a, a box or the best thing I've ever used I don't have enough of them are those restaurant busing trays those big gray heavy trays those are fabulous and you let these dry out completely and then you shake them all out and you get all the all the uh, seed out of them and to get that seed clean, you see I've got some chaff in there and I get some sticks and stuff. The perfect thing is a piece of nylon window screen. It's exactly the size of a celosia seed. It was kind of like a party favor. They sent us home with some of their seeds, four different colors. I'm super excited about it. That color is amazing. They have some of the biggest brain celosia I've ever seen. And maybe that's because I'm up in New York state where the climate is not like perfect for celosia. And some people call it celosia. I just say celosia because I like it. The Arnaskis do have a handful of employees and their main outlets are the Blue Barn, which is a self-serve barn. So people just come, there's a cash box and they've been doing it like this for a long time. And the Blue Barn is actually kind of like a landmark in the community, which they're extremely proud of. Not only do they sell cut flowers, but they also sell vegetable starts and potted plants and hanging baskets and stuff like that. They also have a contract with a grocery store chain in Texas. So they supply cut flowers for 20 grocery stores in Texas, which is amazing and a great, great outlet for their flowers. So what they told me though, is that because of COVID, things kind of shifted and they went from about 75% wholesale to about 75% retail over the past two years and only 25% wholesale. So things are changing for them. It was really great just to hear their experience and how they're making it work. And another person I did not expect to meet there, but it was truly a delight, is Erin McMullen from Raindrop Farms in Oregon. So several years ago, when I first started looking into digging up dahlias and stuff like that, of course, everyone turns to the internet. Erin has a YouTube channel called Raindrop Farms and her videos were one of the first that I stumbled upon. And so I told her, she doesn't make very many of them lately, but I told her I really would love to see her making more content and she agreed. So hopefully, um, she said her and her husband have been talking about it and they've been talking about making more content. So I'm excited to see her YouTube channel start up again. Anyway, it was just a beautiful day and I, um, this, I don't know how this happened, but I kind of won the grand prize. They did a drawing at the end, and one of the drawings was for a vial of seeds of a new variety of celosia that the Arnaskis have been working on. So I will be growing that next year. I'm so excited. I have this vial of seeds, and I can't wait to get them in the dirt. So once again, thank you to the Arnaskis and the ASCFG for hosting such a great intimate event. Super awesome. My only disappointment is that I didn't get to see an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> when I was driving, because there were a couple of hours of driving back and forth from the airport to the farm to the hotel, I had my eyes peeled for armadillos. Oh well, it's okay, maybe next time. Thanks guys for sticking around, we'll see you soon.
Oh, and if you're wondering, the Arnaski's farm is open to the public. You can actually walk around and check it out yourself. Ha, <laughs> ha,